Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and download Perky Duck. I'm going to give you a little lesson on Perky Duck, and um, and we'll just uh, move along and do some other stuff too. But let's go ahead in Windows 3, open Chrome, and you're going to type in Duxbury Braille Translation. Three. Keep the menu device needs to restart to install updates. Select the time to restart button to yeah. move between the buttons. Three, but and you'll notice your JAWS is also telling you about the update because we had a lot of really important updates. All of our computers are continuing to update because, and I'm just going to put this in the recording, February 5th, it screwed up. A lot of things on our computers. <laughs> it did. It really yeah. did. Like the search mm -hmm. key. But tell me what the solution is to the Windows key, because a lot of people don't know this. What is the solution? If you need to check for updates and your Windows key's so, not working. Well, there are a couple of different ways. I'm just going to go through each one. Great. Right. So I'm going to, can they hear my Josh with the recording? Absolutely. I'm going to show, I'm going to show it. So you hit your search key. Search box and type unfortunately, text. in this one, first letter navigation doesn't work. But it does. Go... It does. It should. Well, down first you have to go down to all apps. You have to down, down to all apps. Yeah, all apps recently added. Recently added. And you Xerox print experience. Print experience. That's just some random printer mm -hmm. or something. And Number. 3 d viewer. viewer. Let's say I wanted to go to Outlook. Good. Oh, and tiles list box. Office. Oh. Okay. Well, it didn't work in this case. It did. It did. Don't give up. Down arrow, remember? Then you down okay. arrow. One drive. One note. Open book 9.0 folder collapsed. Outlook. So Outlook. Yeah. And just so and the other people enter. know, I just, I only have gone over this once with you. So you already remembered a lot. So you're doing great. Okay. Thank so you. let's say we want to go to Word. Go ahead and do first letter navigation. So I'm going to hit W. Good. W. All apps checked. All apps list box. W. And weather. Say weather the move but we know we press the arrow keys. So Windows go. accessories folder Three. collapsed. Windows administrative tool Windows folder collapsed. Windows ease of access folder collapsed. Windows power shell folder collapsed. Windows security. Windows system folder collapsed. Word. Word. We would hit Perfect. enter and do our normal word commands. Excellent. Okay. So escape out of there. Um, so we don't have updates on this. Okay. What, did, what did I show you on how to get the updates to force it to start updating so you could restart and things would start working again? You go Windows I and then type Excellent. in updates. Show, show us, Sorry, please. I'm going to do Windows I. Yep. Windows That's going to take settings. you to your settings and it's going to say search, search box. box, find a setting in case you're in your jaws. And you're going to type up. U-P-D-A-T-E-S. Updates. Six down results. arrow. Check for updates. Check for updates. And you're going to hit enter. Excellent. Enter. Nice. Home button, Windows update, Windows update, home button to activate, press space bar, Windows update, Windows update, your device will restart outside of active. I'm not going to restart right now, but if I wanted to, I could just tap right here to restart now. Your device will restart outside of, restart now button to activate, press space bar. And what's nice, right uh, and we already know that when a, an update is pending, our computer can kind of act glitchy. But the point is, if you know more than one way to do something, you can keep working. And uh, so we will, of course, hit this at the end of the lesson because I don't even want to lose two or three minutes on this, and we don't have to. There's yeah, so there's always another way yep. to basically do these things, just right. in case. And that's the advantage of learning more than one way to do these things. Excellent. You see, we have the search, and we also have Windows. We have our down arrow. We have a first letter navigation. Well, remember, that's the reason why we also have programs pinned to our taskbar and our desktop, which yes. gives us a, yeah, yeah. Lots of ways to do this. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and Alt F4 out of our settings and go ahead and Alt Tab to put Google into focus. Sorry, so you want can... keep going in and out. You were just going just went out and then went back in. Uh, you know, uh, it is because of your network. It goes in and out. So we probably pop... that plus the update. Yeah, plus the update. That's right. We already know technology acts a little glitchy. Um, so I'm liable to go in and out, <laughs> as are you. Okay. So we're going to type in, uh, Duxbury is the company, D-U-X, D-U-R-Y. Wait, Mr. Nice, hold on. Yes. Since you're putting it on YouTube, should we probably explain what Perky Duck is so that people who watch it know? Absolutely. So go ahead and let the audience know the question you asked me. So earlier in the lesson, before we started recording this, I asked Miss Denise, well, what's Perky Duck? You know, her phenomenal team, Emily, told me about that at the very end of the lesson, but we didn't get a chance to really see what it was. And then she said, well, 
it's a free feature and you can basically create files in it. But what she also says is that it will show it in Braille. So it's really, really good for math if you guys have a Focus 40 Braille display. Or I'm not sure how it'll work with any Braille display. How will it work with other displays, Ms. Denise? Yeah, the nice thing is, is you can actually do all the math in Word, which comes, comes out cleanly. But when you actually want to work, when a math teacher or a math instructor wants to Even actually- Even if you just want to understand it a little bit better. Well, when she wants you actually really, and you could braille on the focus too. It's just a, it's a braille translation program. So if you actually wanted to emboss it out directly and you do have an embosser, you can braille it in Perky Duck and then emboss it out hard copy. And that's what we want to get for you is we want a, a hard copy for you. Right. Hard copy number code. Yeah. So that's where she's going with this. Um, you, I mean, yeah. So you're going to braille it directly into Perky Duck. It's a free version of Duxbury. Duxbury is a very sophisticated Braille translation program. You could actually put the print in it and it would translate it for you. But we're going to go ahead and get the, the free version. But Perky Duck is from Duxbury, the company. So right. we are now in Google search because we need to go to the Duxbury site in order to download the free Perky Duck Braille translation program. And what's the URL for Duxbury? I, uh, you know, I should have it memorized, but I don't. <laughs> so you're going to just do a search for it, which is great. You're going to just type in Duxbury Braille Translation. You just have to remember Duxbury is D-U-X-B-U-R-Y. So go ahead and type in that search. D-U-R-Y. Duxbury B-R-A-I-L-E. D-U-R-N-S-L-A-T-O-N. And enter, please. Translation, enter. Beautiful. Now we wait yeah. while it loads because my network is slow. It is. And it typically Real is translation not. Google search. Now Four remember, I come up, you tab one time to skip to main content because then you can hit H, which will immediately move you into your search results. Tab one time. Skip the main content link. space bar, but I would hit space bar here. Yeah. And let me mention space, one more thing. Space, main region. Looks Go ahead and hash them up. Uh, when you can tab to into a page that says skip to main content, you can be uh, pretty safe and assured that the page is going to be accessible and we're talking all web pages. So that's like a, a cue for um, the screen reader person is if they hear skip to main content, you can go, it's going to be nice. This should be an easy page to navigate. You want to keep hitting H because this is American Thermoform and we need to keep going a little bit further. So and let me just mention one other thing, just in case we have any people who are new to the computer. Yep. Sometimes, like we said, there's always technology is always going to act weird sometimes. So sometimes enter isn't going to work. Yep. Or sometimes space bar may not work. So sometimes you can have to try control enter, alt enter, yeah. you know, space bar. So just wanted to put that out there so people knew. Sometimes we even have to route our cursor to it in caps lock A, don't we? Well, routing our cursor is caps lock left bracket. Right. But caps then, lock A is only left click, right? It would right. To the right. And so it we to the router, right. Yeah. So we, we route our caps cursor lock with caps lock left bracket and caps lock eight. But there's always a way to get it open, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. Even if it's a graph. Well, I shouldn't say because sometimes it's a graphic and you just can't access it, but. Well, we can Sometimes. open it, but then it doesn't tell us enough information. <laughs> About it. Yeah. Okay. H, please, until you hear Braille translation software. I'm going to hit H for heading. Keep going. Very Braille translation software dash American Thermoform heading level three link. That's American Thermoform. We don't want that one. And you notice that also, if we wanted that, also said heading level three. So we cannot even just hit three if we remembered that. We could. The problem is the heading levels change all the time. So, oh, sorry. Yeah. we only know after the fact. So, <laughs> go ahead and age again. Web result with site links heading level two. <clears throat> yep, again. Braille translation software from Duxbury Systems heading level three link. That's what we want. And so, it said link. So, we could have also done what about that? We could have done our insert F7. Yeah. We could have brought up our links and we could have hit D for Duxbury, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Or, no, we, yeah. Or just down arrow because uh, it may have been labeled something else. Yep, always another way. Okay, go ahead and hit enter and open that. Or please. if we really want another way as well, we could have done a find command for Braille translation software. That's absolutely right. Thank you very much. Okay. But now we're just going to go ahead and hit enter on this heading and this yep. link. Braille translation software from Duxbury Systems Google Chrome. 
Nine headings and 125 links. Braille oh, translation I software. Oh, I have a question for you while we're at this. Why does JAWS, like, continue to scroll down the page? Like, it will just keep, it, if I were to let it talk, it would have just read the whole page and it would have been at the bottom. Yeah, it would have. Sometimes that's an advantage. Uh, it just has to do with your JAWS settings, and it also has to do mm -hmm. with the accessibility of the page. Duxbury is incredibly accessible, easy, easy, easy. But it also has to do with the fact that JAWS likes to gab and likes to ramble on it. He does like to gab. This is absolutely true. Connection is unstable. Yeah, we know the connection is unstable. Yeah, Zoom will say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He always tells us when what goes <laughs> on with the network. But I believe but we you're can in just a room. That. Well, I believe you're in a room with a lot of cement around you also, aren't you? Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. that's what your TVI said. Uh, okay, so we need to uh, go to all products. So I want you to pull up your links because we need to go to all products in order to find our perky duck. So please and bring up your links. Seven. If, okay. If add your FN key again. here, Tootsie Bell. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so on some computers you have to add your FN key. Yeah. So I have to put my thumb on FN key, my pointers on my capsule lock key on my left or my insert key. I think your my FN right key pointer. locks, sweetie. I think if you hit your FN key, it should lock down. Links list dialog. Yeah, Links well, list but I still for the do that just to make sure it actually. Yeah, that is absolutely it. fine. Okay, so go ahead and hit A for all products till you get there. Hey, all products, 12 of 125. Nice. Enter. Enter. All products link. Nine headings and 33 links. The Duxbury DBT DBT. Okay, you can hush them up. Okay, so uh, I'll let you choose how you want to get to Perky Duck. Whether you want to use a find or your links or uh, headings. How would you like to get to Perky Duck? Let's do find. Okay. And again, if that might not work all the time, headings or links is always great too. Yep. Let's go ahead and do find. So I'm going to hit control F. Okay. Jaws find dialog. Find what colon edit combo to set the value. Okay, use so the arrow keys or type. Find what, so it's basically asking you to type in whatever you want to find. Mm -hmm. I'm going to type in perky duck. So. Actually, just keep remember, keep it simple because you're not really sure how duck is spelled. So I just say put ver perky in there. Okay. Hit enter on that. Perky, enter. Heading level two link perky duck download left parent windows or Mac right parent. And go ahead and hash them up. Another issue is uh, when you have two words like that, you don't know if there's a space in it or anything. So keep it it's simple. It's always best to just put one word maybe. Yeah, keep it simple. Okay, so insert tab, confirm where we're at, please. Perky duck download left parent windows or Mac right parent heading level two link. Nice. Okay. Enter and open. And you heard it was a link also. So we knew Enter. that was an option. Okay. Systems. In. That Website was also heading, so 15 links. Hit eight, free soft software. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there has, on this page, we know there's got to be, uh, you know, we hit enter to open it. So there's got to be a download button of some type. Um, Most times. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I didn't mean to be rude. No, you're fine. Most times when we see download button, we can either hit B for a button, but that also tells us download is a form field which means we would do insert F5. So we're gonna see if download is under my form. Field. Okay, excellent reasoning. Okay, let's try it. If my form fields will open, which I just have to try Remember again. FN key. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's my FN key. Mm -hmm. No form fields, perky duck free software. Mm. Mm, isn't that interesting, right? <laughs> I guess uh, I know, because JAWS isn't even saying no form field. So let's try hitting B for button. Okay. No buttons. Okay, check well, our PC cursor before we go any place. Yeah, let's let's just make sure we let's. So we're gonna do caps lock semicolon and make sure that we're gonna hear Josh say PC. Yeah. So caps lock. Virtual PC. PC. That's that's what we want here. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna try my form fields again, and again, worst case scenario, we'll just do a find command for download. Definitely. Okay, still didn't work. FN key, you gotta hold on your FN key. Okay, no it's not working. Key. I'm gonna try to hit the button again. No form field. Yep. So how no about button. we just pull no up our frozen? links, sweetie? Because now B isn't working no either. Button. Pull up your links. Let's find out what's, uh, what other options we've got. Okay. So these things aren't working. Let me just do a find command for download. JAWS find dialog. Find what colon edit combo perky to set the value. Use the arrow keys or type the value. Alt plus W. To set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value, Alt plus W. 
So we're to find command. You already hit the enter on Perky Duck. We're on its free downloads page. And if you cannot find downloads, remember you can just start listening in the page to your options. Okay. Oh. Yes, Ravina, did you lose me? I can't hear you at all and it was frozen, like nothing was working anymore. Oh, you can't hear me on Zoom? Nope. Oh, that's mm -hmm. hilarious. Okay, so this is gonna be in the recording also. So my brain- The for button wasn't this. working. Okay, hold on. Your internet connection is stable. Yeah, the internet's stable, so let me input that into the Zoom. So my brilliant student has her phone available, so I'm talking to her on the phone right now. I want you to hit escape. Hold on, let me see if I can put it on speaker so, I see, so they can hear me. Can you hear me? Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. All right. Okay, hit escape out of your jaws phone. You see that on my screen? Beautiful. Okay, I want you to hit H for heading, please. Perky duck icon, please download the perky duck heading level one. To me at all. Yeah. What's not talking to you at all? Jaws. Um, oh, really? I hear him completely. I think you muted yourself. That's what you hmm. did. You muted yourself. Okay. Insert escape, refresh your jaws. Should I try unplugging my headset? Screen updated. Now I heard it say screen updated when I hit insert escape. There you go. Uh, so I think you And now I can hear you as well. Yeah, Zoom. you muted yourself. That's why. Okay, I'm making your phone phone. And that's actually a really good point. I'm actually glad that happened, Ravina, because that happens all the time with kids. So let's and explain they, how to do that. To yeah, happen. and they don't understand. They're thinking, oh my gosh, I can't hear anything. It's because you've got mute options up at your F keys and insert escape always puts every, it puts JAWS and your screen reader and your volume back to normalcy. People don't yeah, know. Yeah, we that. never really know which F key is going to be our mute key unless we try to play around with it. Yeah. But worst case scenario, we can always just hit our insert escape mm -hmm. and we can count on JAWS coming back. Yeah, but your F5 is your mute key. F5 is your mute key. On this and, one computer. Yes, and that happens. That happens. Okay, insert down arrow. Let's just listen to the page quickly and you're going to find your link to your Duxbury. I mean, to your Perky Duck. Perky Duck free software. Heading level one graphic. Perky Duck icon. Heading level one free download of Perky Duck. Perky Duck. You gotta keep listening, sweetie. You need to go to the link. Insert down arrow and go. Link. Heading level one free download of Perky right Duck. Here. Uh, did you hear he heading or link on that though? I hear heading level one free download of Perky, download yeah. of Perky so Duck. So that's just a heading. We gotta go to a link, right? Well, let's just put up. Our, let's just pull up the links then, right? Okay. Go ahead and try. It. Okay, sweetie, you got to sit on your FN key in order to do that. So on your FN, oh, you got it. There you go. There you go. No, no, no. Control F. home, please. Control home. Rail. Control it home. Con DBT, one of 15. Top. No, no, no. no, no, no. sweetie, please 15. listen to me. Please listen to me. Control home. Duxbury DPT, one of 15. Download of Perky Duck for Windows, three of 15. So it was. It was download. You could have done a find command for download. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's your FN key that was just throwing you off. And you know they're going to be links. So you can't pull up links. You kept hitting F. I'm not sure. Why were you hitting F? Because it said free download before. Oh, no, no, no. That's a heading. That's a heading. That is not. Oh, I thought they were different things. Right. Links are where we get our options from. Okay. okay. I, I know it's at the end of the day for you also. Your brain is tired. That's okay. So yeah. we're just. So that yeah. was a good example. We didn't know if it was headings, links, form fields. So we just tried a whole bunch of different ways, including find command. Yeah, and, uh, and you did find command, but you hadn't typed in download yet. You had you had muted yourself, and that's when you called me. So you could have done that also, but we we went ahead and did links. You're good. So that was a way of problem solving. Yep. That's exactly right. We're going to hit enter on download. Enter. Mm -hmm. Downloading 37.7 MB per key dash 1204 dot inside. And wh wait, what's the difference between MB and KB? Megabytes and K kilo, whatever. Uh, one is larger than the other. This is not a very big program. This is not a very oh, big Oh, that program. sounds large, but I guess not. No, no, it's not. 
so go ahead and go to your downloads folder and let's go ahead and load the exe. So please go to your downloads right. folder. So remember when, when, when it said alert, download, blah, 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 then that's when we go to our downloads folder. Yep. So I'm going to do, I could do search box edit and type in file explorer, but we already know Windows E is going to be faster. We do. So Windows, do e. Windows E. File explorer items. Be so we're going to hit D, D downloads. downloads. Yep. And hit enter on downloads. Enter. File explorer items view multi select list box. Today expanded, not selected, perky dash. Now again, that's a down arrow, up arrow yep. to make Today sure. expanded, perky dash. Well, yeah. Hold on, sweetie. You could have just hit space bar to select it, right? I could have. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I always forget that. Was... Yeah. We can hit space bar or like you said, down arrow, up arrow. Okay. Go ahead and load ways. that, please. So we're going to application. Wait. No, no, no. We're going to open it first. Yes. You just have and to hit enter on it, enter. right? We've got to start Fire installing off. it. Wait for it. More experience Wait. Post. Wait. And then let me explain this box when it opens. Just hang here. More experience okay. post. The app you're trying to install isn't a Microsoft Dash Verified app. The app you're trying to install isn't a Microsoft Dash Verified app. The app okay. you're trying to install isn't. I'm just letting them listen to Josh. Just hold on. So what it's talking about is it thinks it might be bad. And so it wants you to go to your app store. But this is blindware. We can't get blindware at a store. So you need a tab to change my ad recommendation settings. <laughs> change my app recommendation settings link. Yeah, enter. Enter. Store experience host settings. Okay. Yeah. Apps and features. Choose where to get apps. Installing apps only from Windows Store helps protect no. your device. Oh. No. We cannot do that because we then anything get... that's not from the Microsoft Store, like like Blindware or Blindware. like Duxbury, isn't gonna down arrow. Sit well. And, yep. So. Down arrow. Let's change our options. Down arrow. Is it working? Maybe it's tab. Uh, you can try enter. Try entering on it. Enter the Microsoft Store only left parent recommended right parent. Now down no. arrow. Mm. Oh, up arrow. Up arrow. Anywhere, but warn me before installing an app that's not from the Microsoft Store. Yeah, yeah. You do want it to have it warned because you might accidentally download it. And you are, you know, anybody, it takes about four or five years before you stop being a beginner because uh, there's so much to learn always. Yeah. Um, and you don't ever want to accidentally download viruses to your computer. Yeah. That's and this fun. is probably the easiest one because you can tab right past it and say, I want to download it anyway. So let's hit enter on that one. Enter anywhere, but warn me before installing an app that's not from the Microsoft Store. Installing we... apps only from Windows Store helps protect your device. Yeah, hush Enter. him up. We might want to change that one, but right now we're going to leave that in. So Alt-Tab, back down to your down back to your downloads folder, and we're going to hit Enter and open it. Downloads to move to an item, press the arrow keys. Downloads. Enter items again, multi please. Enter. Window dialog. Here we go. Store experience post. Work in progress bar. Exiting main, okay, entering main, the app you're trying to install into Microsoft uh -oh. Dash Verified app. No, 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 this store is perfect. Button. Oh, okay. Tab to install anyway, remember? Install anyway button to activate press space bar. Yeah. Off. So you do have the option. It tells you it's not an app. So then if you're really, if you're a beginner and you really, it's like, oh, maybe I'm not really sure about this. But we know, we know this is a good program. So we're going to install it anyway. Or it's going to tab to install. And we're Enter. Gonna you yep. can either hit enter or space bar, because Josh did say space bar, but we're going to hit enter. Yeah. Enter. And if Download. enter doesn't work, we would have hit it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. If you would have let him talk, he would have said next greater than button, so you can either hit space bar or alt in. Well, let me just insert tab so we can hear it. Yeah. Great. Wait. Insert tab. It's not working. Caps lock tab? Yeah, it's not working. It's not doing anything. <laughs> but let me try my FN key. No, no. It, Sweetie, insert T. Listen to the, where you're at in general. Perky Duck 12.4 dash installer wizard. Okay. okay. Now, for whatever reason, now insert tab should work. But again, we do have updates and all that kind of stuff. So we do. And he's not going to always be really good. But that's the reason why we do all in. Because if and we're that, not sure where we're at, we do all in. Wait, let me just say one thing. Yes. So that's honestly why, because I had tend to doubt myself without JAWS, and I'm like, oh my god, what do I do when I know the commands? That's right. Um, so that's why it's always a good idea to really, really, really pay attention and listen to JAWS, so that obviously this is the first time I'm downloading this program, but so that when you run into problems, because it's technology, like Ms. Denise said earlier, it's not always going to act really good. So that's why it's always a good idea to memorize JAWS. 
and almost and as you get alert your internet right, connection is unstable as you get better you're going to hear jaws in your head even when you don't even when he's not really talking you'll be doing a command you'll be like okay now he's saying next now he's saying blah blah, blah and you'll kind of automatically know that in your brain but it's a really good idea to pay attention to what he's saying okay. so right now we know he's not telling us but it says next and Tell me your braille display sweetie what does it say on your braille display um my braille display on my clock oh that's Vince right we need clock. to change your bluetooth okay we're gonna fix that next okay let's do this and because it All will right. It would have said next on your brother's play, so we need to fix your brother's play next because people need to know how to fix the brother's play issues. Okay, yeah, alt so we're gonna do all n. Yeah, let's get. We can have all the space bar, but all n. Perky Duck twelve point four dash installer wizard dialog. I do not accept the terms in the license agreement. Radio button checked. One of two. To change the selection. Let's hop. You need to say accept. You know. All a. Yes, always. It's always Alt A. So we could have done Alt A, or we could have just down here, but we're going to do Alt A. Okay, I accept the terms of the license agreement. Radio button check. And two of two. To change the selection, press Alt down N there. for okay. next. Alt N. Alt N. Perky Duck 12.4 dash installer wizard dialog. Choose the setup type that best suits your needs. Setup type, please select the setup type. Install shield, install shield. Common program features will be installed. Choose which program features you want installed and where they will be installed. Recommended for advanced users. All pro okay. And you can insert tab, and it would say typical, but we know we're in the midst of updates, so you're just going to do Alt-N for next. Alt-N, Perky Duck 12.4 dash installer wizard dialog, setup type colon typical destination folder colon C colon backslash program files left parent x86 right parent backslash Duxbury backslash. Do really you really want it there? Yeah. And just hit space bar. We know that the option we want is always selected, so we can always hit space bar. Space, Perky Duck 12.4 dash installer enter. wizard dialog, install shield and user account okay. control dialog. And what, okay, well, let, me just, let me just explain the box. So whenever we see our user account, sometimes it'll yeah, ding. Can you do all it Y so it will start to install and then explain? All Y, cancel button to activate press space 100%. Okay. Oh, it's already done. But anyway, Perky Duck 12. user account control basically means do you want this app to make changes to your device? And you're going to hear Jaw say that and it might ding. Just make sure you do Alt Y for yes. And if you don't, you can do Alt N for no. Okay, we don't want to launch this right now, uh, so I want you to tab to uncheck the box that says launch. Launch Perky Duck 12.4 checkbox checked. So clear check mark, press space R, Alt plus L. Clear it. C, not checked. Thank you. And tab to hit C, but okay. Finish button to activate, Finish. press space R, Alt plus F. We could have hit Alt plus F there as well, just so we know. Yep, space bar, please. Space, downloads, items, okay. new multi salute list box, today expanded, Perky dash 12. All F4, close your downloads folder, please. All F4, settings, apps and features, choose where to get close apps. Install your apps settings, link. please. All F4, download a Perky Duck for Windows link. Close Perky Duck, please. All F4, Zoom okay. dash free account. Now, let's deal with your Brow Display. So we have Brow Display, we have things connected to our computer, and for whatever reason, they decide to just not work, even though they've been <laughs> connected and working beautifully. We're going to go to your Bluetooth. We're going to remove. Well, first, we're going to check to see if it's there. If it's not, we're going to add it. But my guess is it's there, and it's just not connecting. OK? Uh, right. When's the last time you charged it also? Uh, it's been charging all night last night. Great. OK? So please go to your Bluetooth. We're going to go find focus. We're going to remove it. Search box edit. Type in text. B L E E L T Bluetooth another device. Enter. Settings, Bluetooth and other devices, add Bluetooth or other device pass. button to act, Bluetooth button off to activate oh, press that's probably one of my problems. If that is a big problem, isn't it? So I want to make sure we say Bluetooth on. This says Bluetooth off, so we're going to hit space yes. bar. Please, on. We're going to turn okay. my Bluetooth back now, on. Now, my guess is right there, it's going to be fixed, okay? Mm -hmm. So you always need to go to your Bluetooth first, but we have we know that our brother's light always has to go on first before JAWS does. So we need to go to our desktop and leave this open. Just go to your desktop, turn off JAWS, <clears throat> and then you're well, going to turn it back Braille on. Braille display turn off JAWS, right? Or just turn off JAWS and turn it back on? Um, probably since, uh, so he, do you, do you even know when you turned your Bluetooth off? No, I don't. Okay. So it might be best to go to your desktop, turn off JAWS, turn off your brother's display, turn it back on, then turn Windows it off. Desktop. Okay, so I'm going to turn off JAWS now with my insert F4. Escape. But why is it calling that F escape? FN, oh. sweetie. FN. I'm thinking so annoying. I'm pretty I'm sure. That JAWS. That. JAWS yeah. are you sure. So, are you sure you want to quit JAWS? It'll say press escape to cancel. Press enter for OK. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Desktop. Folder view. You didn't hear JAWS cut off like you just did. Now I'm going to turn off the braille display. 
and I'm waiting for the build to play. Okay, it's totally off now. When you know it's totally off, you'll see like a, just you won't see any dots on it. You'll just see like mm -hmm. blank, basically. <laughs> you won't see Turn it back on, and then I'm going to ask you a question. Turn so we'll, no, we'll the display your always display has to. Back on. Yeah, the display always has to go back on before Jaws or the computer. Okay, now hold on. If you feel a circle to the right, what does that tell you about that Braille display? It's locked. It's locked. And can you Braille on a locked Braille display? No, you can't do anything with it. How do you get that unlocked? This is the focus. You hit, um, so you have a right mode button. So all these, like you have like little keys that are below your keys. And key they're, cases, um, sweetie. So they don't, you're not confusing oh, yeah. the audience. So you have a router key. It's like the keys that you have above and below your other keys to route your cursor. And you press your right mode button, which is the little dot. Um, at the very right hand side. At the very right hand screen. side. You hold it down and then hold down any of the router keys. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And what's then on. let them go. And then that should fix the problem. Yeah, and then the round circle disappears. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. so now I'm going to turn back on JAWS. Yep. Turn it on. We've got many options to do it that way. And because he's not on my taskbar, he's gonna. I'm gonna he actually to... is on your taskbar. You oh, he's it. Windows One. Wait, Windows, it is. See, you do remember. Uh, now I remember. Yeah, you can so do. We could have done the search key, but yeah. we're not going to do that. Cause... Yeah, you were fine on the search key yeah. also, but Windows One will also open it. That's the reason why we like to pin him. And we're waiting for him to load because right now he's just deciding. Jaws professional meeting controls. And yes, my brother's place fixed. It's amazing. So always, so if your brother's place is not working, always check your Bluetooth. If it still wasn't working, we would actually find, if we would have found your focus, we would have removed it and reinstalled it and it would have worked better. Which maybe we'll do another recording on that, another lesson. Yeah, good. Okay, so we've got your brother's play working and uh, is there any work you want to hit or shall we go ahead and go through Perky? Do perky. I, I didn't have any work that I needed to do. Fabulous. Okay, Let's so uh, you're actually going, I'm going to actually have you six key on your keyboard. It's a little, it's something a little different. So whenever you download something, we know it's on your desktop, so you can access it through your desktop or your start key. What would you like to do? Let's, because we've been doing the start key so much, let's just tell them how to do it from the desktop. Okay, sounds good. So we're gonna do, we can always do Windows D to get to the desktop, but we do Windows M. We look, actually, I'm gonna show you Windows D. So. Either one works, right? Either one. Either one. Either one. I'm gonna hit, I can either down arrow, but I'm gonna just hit P. P -12 .4, 1 of 12. That's one. Okay. I'm gonna hit enter it? on Perfect. Great. Enter. Install JAWS scripts dialog. You have one or more JAWS registered installations without the most updated attached date script files for Perky Duck. Installing the most recent script files left parent included with Perky Duck right parent yes. will help Perky Duck to work better with JAWS. Yes button. Yes, yeah, so you always want to click yes when you hear that box. Oh, right. that dialog. So you need to hit, so we're going to space. space. Yes. Perky Duck dialog. JAWS registered will not work with the newly installed script files until Perky Duck restarts. Would you like to restart Perky Duck now? Yes button to activate. Press space yes. R. Alt plus Y. Yes, we do want to restart him. Yep. Space. Main window. Beautiful. And main window is always Mobile what Zoom is going to say, just like in general, just so you know. Nice. Okay, so I want you to alt tab and put Perky Duck into focus, please. Meeting controls, the settings. Zoom dash free account, global colon and monster setup. Go. Railer device colon. Oh, and it's always not a good idea to have two way too many windows open. That is it just true. makes it harder and your computer doesn't like that, so. Yep. Somehow you hit a, a Bing and Olsen uh, graphic that's taking the whole screen. Yeah, uh -oh. that's okay. Uh, so insert tab so I can hear where you're at. Let me to remove the graphic. Railer device colon, railer device colon, list box. Left parent, no target, and buzzer, right parent, one to one. To move to an item, press the arrow keys, alt plus D. We will set that up later because your embosser actually needs to be uh, here. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So go ahead and tab. Railer device colon new button to activate press space R alt plus N. Uh, we will add that later. Go ahead and just escape out of that. Escape. Perky Duck MDI client. Great. Go ahead and control N. Document. Uh, for a new document. Mm -hmm. Control N. Edit. So notice it's just like in work. Control uh, N. Control perfect. N for new email message. Mm -hmm. 
just so others can watch this, I do want to find out what is going, your video, your JAWS video took it over, uh, and that is what happens when you restart. I want you to sit mm -hmm. on your alt and tap for me, please. How many times? I don't know. I will tell you. Sit on and just keep holding it. Move to an item, press the arrow keys. Settings. Stop right there and close your settings. Close your settings. Setting. Alt F4. Perky duck dash left bracket on title braille document one right bracket. Okay. I want you to go to your meeting controls, please. Meeting yeah. controls to move to an item, press the arrow keys. Alt meeting S controls. to stop sharing screen and then you're going to start. Alt alert. Mm -hmm. And then Alt yeah, but wouldn't visual people want to see my screen? Hold on, sweetie. We've got to oh. stop it and then restart it. Oh. Thank you. I'll S again. So I did. And then so you need to tap to share. I'm tabbing to where it says share computer sound. It's already checked. Most times it wouldn't be if it was. And then it tap twice to far. share. And it's going to sit. And I'm going to hit enter here. The screen shares. And now you should be able to see my screen and hear my jaws. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, my guess is your computer is going to force us to do a restart. So oh, excellent right. job. So let's go ahead. You're gonna all. Uh, you're going to go to all your windows. You're gonna close them down, and we do. Look, your internet connection is unstable. Yep, your okay. computer is gonna have a fit, and it's uh, pretty much the end of class anyway. So I want you, but I want to make sure you restart everything. Please close all your windows. Okay. And then you're going to go to your desktop and all F4, and it should say update and shut down when you do all F4. Update and shut down. Yep. Okay. Cool. A nice job. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank Bye. you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.